सब्सक्राइब कीजिए नॉलेज गुरुजी को और पाइए ऐसे बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स आपकी स्क्रीन पर हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल नॉलेज गुरुजी वी आर हियर विद अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड हेल्पफुल वीडियो टू ऑलमोस्ट ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट ओवर द ग्लोब इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शेयरिंग विद यू अ हाईली रिकमेंडेड टॉपिक दैट इज हाउ टू सॉल्व द रिटर्न एग्जाम एट द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल so before we begin with our video let me clear you that this video is helpful for all the written exams be it be jwe neet mrs afpi your school board exams or the scholarship tests of certain institutes so do watch this video till the end moreover another important notice if you are passionate about giving such written exams but are unable to know what to do and require highly beneficial coaching i have a solution for you at the end of the video now let's come on to our main topic this video will be a journey of you only from today till completing the written exam and cracking it so let's get started see Now I am going to take you to the future on the day before your written exam I suggest all of you to imagine yourself accordingly You are sitting in your room and it is the day before your written exam you are very tensed and scrolling down the ways to clear it so here is your tip number 1 be calm don't ever panic if you have practiced hard you will have a deep knowledge of how much you have practiced thinking too much at this time is a crime for you at this time make a revision of your important formulas and then enjoy your day try every possible effort to omit any negative thoughts in your mind don't practice at the end moments because if you study and then you are unable to solve some questions you will be demotivated and now demotivation will have a great impact on you and the very important thing at the very day have your kit assembled your admit card id proof aadhar card and cardboard ready at your place follow these steps and congratulations you have completed your stage 1 now your exam day has come wake up early in the morning around 5 to 6 completely fresh before starting your day say these magical words this is my first and last exam and i am going to rock it i am through in the test pray to god to help you believe me at this very moment they will generate a wave of current in your body and you will be charged up now be ready for the exam have a good and heavy breakfast to attain energy also keep a water bottle with you be cool and reach your examination center at least 30 minutes before the reporting time to judge the environment let me again remind you don't panic what most students do at this moment is that they open their books or try to memorize important formulas but this is not the right moment you have prepared hard and you will make it interact with others present over there this will greatly boost your confidence but try to avoid negative people avoid discussions of preparations with your fellow friends or anyone make sure you fresh yourself before the exam note your setting arrangement and reach the place on time now you are in the hall on your seat sit and first of all pray to god and most important listen to your invigilator's announcements clearly if you could not get his point request him or her to repeat again fill your mandatory details such as roll number center code etc on your omr carefully remember fill them correctly because you will get only one omr sheet now pick the question paper handed to you by the invigilator now here comes the big mistake which most of us do we directly go for solving don't do this The reason is if you directly go for solving you may miss out some very important details in a hurry. Let me tell you that you will get the question paper 10 minutes before the starting time. Review your paper thoroughly in those minutes. 
make a complete plan of what to do first and in the successive periods of time. You might be thinking, why? There is a huge benefit behind it. See, now you have reviewed the paper and you know the part of the paper which seems easy to you. And my advice is, attack that part of paper first. This will greatly charge you up and boost your confidence. Because at this time, confidence is very necessary. Now, your primary goal is to solve 50 to 60 questions in the first hour. How? Only to practice guys, if you have solved such 10 to 12 papers before the exam, you have the idea of your strengths and weaknesses. Why I am saying this is only because our productivity in the first hour is at the peak. The motivation which we get in the first hour proves to be a head start for your remaining questions. Now let me give you a super tip. Mark on the OMR directly. I know what most of you would be doing. What most students do is that they first mark on their question paper and then on the OMR. Tell me, what is the fun of doing this? This only wastes your time. I will brief you more about this topic in my next video. My next super advice to you is don't spend more than one and a half minutes on a single question. Judge that question and take your decision. This is the 130 rule. Remember that. And if the question is taking time and you cannot solve that question, leave the question and move on to the next. Let me tell you what happens. While you move to the next question, your subconscious mind is solving your previous question and there is a much higher probability that you will solve it in the next round of your revision. Next step is mark your signs before the question paper. For example, a tick on the solved questions, a cross on the questions which cannot be done, a star on the questions which you can do but take a lot of time and many more. By doing this, you will be able to reach quickly to those questions at the time when you have attempted all you could solve. This trick prevents you from searching those questions and wasting your time. Make sure you don't waste the rough work area of your question paper because there is a most probable chance that you will not get an extra sheet. You can solve a question at the side of it but make sure you don't make it too messy that you are unable to locate a question. Next thing is to use elimination method. This method generally works on most of the questions. What you have to do is, while solving a question, reject that option which you are damn sure that it would be incorrect. In this, you reduce the options and finally reach to your correct answer. Another strategy is to use the options to solve the questions. There are some questions in the paper which can only be solved through options. Do pay attention to such questions because they are the easiest ones. Next super tip is identify your silly mistakes. If you are practicing, it is probable that you commit silly mistakes and this is the time to work on them. Identify them, classify them and find their root cause. Try to perform countermeasures to eliminate all your silly mistakes. Because if you attempt those mistakes at the examination hall, you are definitely going to curse yourself. My last super tip is to review your paper in a cycle as per your signs. Suppose you completed the paper 15 minutes earlier, start from the beginning and review the questions which you have left earlier and that can be done in the remaining period of time. Now let's come on to the important notice. I have an institute for you which has produced many toppers in different exams. That is Education World. This institute has also given two toppers of written AFPI exam in which I am one of them. So here were the super tips which we must keep in our mind while solving questions. Do comment your doubts in the comment section and I will answer them the quickest. Also comment what is the next video you want me to upload. If you like this video, do click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the near future. Let us aim for 50 likes. Please share this video with all your knowns because it is a highly recommended video for all of us. Okay guys, sayonara. I will meet you soon with my next video on the most fatal mistakes which we commit while attempting the written exam. 
सो टिल देन स्टे हैप्पी स्टे ट्यून ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट एंड पेपर फोड़ के आना है Thank you.